Okay, so the very first thing, assets are the things you own. Cash, bank accounts, investments, house. So like your house that you have is, is an asset, okay? So if you rent your house, it is not an asset because that means you do not owe it. You do not own it. You're renting from somebody else who owns it. A liability is like your mortgage, um, your car loan, your credit card balances. All of those are liabilities. We kind of hit on this earlier in the year. So like a, like a house loan would be? Yeah, house loan is a mortgage. That's the other word for house loan, okay? So, the, yeah, what you owe on your house is the mortgage, the house loan, okay? That's a liability. So, say your house is worth um, $250,000, okay? But you owe $150,000 on it. So, you, it, you have, you're kind of $1,000, $100,000 good. Does that make sense? So, remember when you do net worth, you add up all your assets and all of your liabilities and then subtract them. So that's what we're going to really talk about today. So I need you with me and kind of going. Um, if you look at the next thing, okay, it gives family B. We're going to talk about that here in just a minute. And family A, y'all don't have these, y'all just have the main sheet. It says asset, they own the house for $100,000. They owe $18,000, okay? Okay, and then it have a sheet that looks like this page right here, okay? So we're going to fill in this page based on um, family A and family B, okay? So let me, I'm going to have to put family A up there a different way. Okay, so family A has a couple of different things, okay? First of all, they have a house that is worth a hundred thousand dollars okay so if their house is a hundred thousand dollars but they owe eighteen thousand dollars okay which part is the asset and which part is the liability so the asset the house the asset is the house yes the liability is how much you owe so if you look at this last one, right? So we own the house for a hundred thousand, but we owe eighteen thousand. Okay. So keep on looking. Let me. I'm gonna find it where I can put it up here. So on the screen, there is family A again. So we already did the house. So look at the car. A, they own a car for twenty-two thousand. So that means it's gonna be an asset at twenty-two thousand. And then the car is paid off, so they have zero liability on that car. Are you good with that? Okay. Sorry. Family A, on the next row is furniture. Okay. They own $25,000 worth of furniture. So they, on the assets, they put $25,000 in. They owe $450,000. So $450,000 is the liability part. Okay. The next row is credit cards. Let's look for their credit cards. Okay, they have a credit card right there. They owe $59 on credit card one. They owe $0 on credit card two, and there's only two credit cards. So do the, are credit cards an asset? No, they are not. They're something that you owe. You, the credit cards are not an asset. Even though they have a limit on them, that is not money that you have. It's always gonna be money that you owe. A debit card is a chat attached to your checking account, and that's money you have in your checking account that you can use, but a credit card is all never an asset. We had a problem with that on our unit test. So we would put $59 on the liability and zero on the assets for credit cards. Yes, because they owe $59. Okay, bank accounts is your next one, okay? <clears throat> so I see an emergency savings account. I see a college savings account. And a reti retirement's different. I see a different thing. And then I see 500 in a checking account and $50 cash. That's different too. So I see an emergency account, a college savings account, and a checking account. So all together, those are 20,000. 15,000 plus 4,500 plus 500, right? Yes or no? Um, yeah. Okay. Look at all the ones that are accounts. 15,000 for an emergency savings account. That's an account. We're looking at the count, the count line. 4,500 in college savings account at the bank, and then there's another bank one that says 500 in, in checking accounts. So I would add all three of those boxes together. I would add the 15,000, the 4,500, and the 500. That would be 20,000. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, so 20,000 on the bank accounts. Okay. Do we, we owe any liabilities at the bank? It doesn't yeah, say we do. No. Okay. We owe $500 for kids. Okay, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Okay, retirement accounts. Oh. Retirement accounts. We have a $47,000 retirement account. That's all I see. So on our retirement account, we should put $47,000 and we have zero liabilities on that account. How many? Zero. zero. Wait, is this yours? Zero. zero. Is this you? Huh? No, this is just a... Okay, cash. What do we see for cash? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. We have 50 bucks and we have zero liabilities. This, part, this, this family's doing pretty good. Okay, loans. I don't see any loans. Two and zero and zero. So we have zero assets, and you wouldn't have an asset. You wouldn't have an asset. A loan is usually going to be a liability, and then a value of jewelry and art. Valor own own jewelry valued at seven hundred seventy-five. So they would do an asset of seven seventy-five, and then zero, and the on the liabilities they owe nothing. Okay, so look at yours. I know you can't see my screen up on the board, but you should be able to see my screen on my iPad. Kind of look and see if that's very similar to yours. The car is auto is twenty two thousand and zero. Twenty two thousand for assets, zero for liabilities. Um, what is the bank retirement account is forty seven thousand. We are recording, guys. What'd you say? The bank accounts I had twenty thousand for assets and zero liabilities. Credit card I had zero on assets and fifty nine for liabilities. Is this right? <clears throat> Looks like it to me, yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add up our assets. So add up your assets. So if you go all the way down. Well, Lonnie. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, on my assets, I got 200,000, 200,014, 825. My liabilities would <clears throat> 18,509. Well, you're going to have 18,000 because you got that $18,000 liability right there. Okay, so on your family A, your total assets would be 214,825. Your total liabilities, 18509 So what's your net worth? You would subtract the two. So you would take your 200000 214000 excuse me, minus your 18509 Okay. And I would get 196316 on my net worth. Okay, so I'm gonna throw the B up there and I'm gonna have you try that on your own real quick and then we're gonna talk about it here in a couple minutes. Press pause right here and then I want you to go ahead and fill in family B and then I'm going to um, fill in family B and we'll be back up in just a minute. So I want you to look at what I have set up. So if I'm gonna take this down for a minute. Um, and put this one back. Um, if you look at the differences, uh, we had four hundred thousand dollars for the house asset, and then the liability was three hundred fifty thousand. On auto, the the asset is seventy nine thousand. The liability is thirty seven thousand. Okay. Furniture is a hundred thousand. The liability is forty three thousand. Um, credit cards. They credit cards are not an asset. They only owe, and they owe eighteen thousand five hundred seventy five. Bank accounts, they have a $1,500, no liabilities. Retirement, $47,000, no liabilities. Cash, $300, no liabilities there. There's no loans. There are loans, but they're in their house or 
and then the value of jewelry and art is ten thousand dollars okay so i added all those up then i got six hundred and twenty seven thousand eight hundred for their assets how many six hundred and twenty seven thousand eight hundred okay the liabilities I added up and I got 445,575. Okay, so these are the loans or the credit cards that I added up. And then here is where I subtracted and got the net worth. I got the net worth as 182,225. Okay, now let's think about this. The first family had a little bit less. Their house was smaller. They only had one car, but they didn't have any credit cards. I mean, they only owned $59 in credit cards. So they, um, they're smart. Anyway, so all that stuff right here. Okay. So, um, they, but they look at the net worth, look at the net worth here. And then look at the net worth here. Who has a higher net worth? Family A, even though they had a smaller house, all that stuff, they had a higher, they have a higher value, like a net worth at the end. So which items do not count as an asset or liability? On the first one, it was the $500 childcare. Okay. On the second one, it was that $75 workout fee, right? So that's not, um, an asset or a liability. Which family has the greatest net worth? Family A. Family A, okay. So when we subtracted it, it all worked out to family A. Imagine you worked for the bank. If both families requested $10,000, which family do you think would get it faster? Family A. Family A because they have a higher net worth, okay. So because and and that's why you explain it it's because they have a higher net worth okay so they're in better value just because you have a big fancy house and you have big fancy cars does not mean you have a you are in a better situation yes my parents call it house poor like that's all they can afford is their house and stuff yeah that's what if people people like there's no there's no money for fun yeah like when i ask for something they say do you want to be house poor <laughs> okay, so that's where we're going to stop here. I'm going to throw a family up here and I'm going to show you something different and you can so you can complete your second page.